yeah, I cut my hair. I said I was going to. I said it was long overdue. And I actually think it was the day after I filmed my Daniel Favourites video, I just called up a local salon and was like, have you got a spot for this afternoon? Need a haircut? Went in, got it done. Can't say I'm too happy with the result. I'm just someone who hates getting my hair cut. I don't enjoy it. I never like my hair after it's been cut. I feel like my ends kind of go crazy and it kind of sticks out. So I'm definitely not really feeling it at the moment, but I'm sure I will get into a vibe with it. And annoyingly, I hadn't edited the January favorites video, so I cut my hair, wasn't very happy with it, and then had to edit a video of me with long hair, and I was like, Anna, what the hell have you done? But I am very happy to get rid of the botched dye job, which was on the ends where I tried to go blonde, and it just went wrong, and I ended up with like kind of orangey ends that just would come through no matter whatever dye I put on top of it. So I'm happy to get rid of those, and I'll be happier once it's grown like an inch or so. I'm working with it. But today I'm going to do an ASOS haul and I'm going to take you along for the ride because I have finally worked out the process of filming your laptop screen whilst you're doing stuff on it. It's actually very easy to do and I can't believe that it's taken me that long to do. So I'm going to show you the process of how I shop on ASOS, like the certain categories that I go through, how I find what I want because obviously there is a ton of stuff on there. And I've seen a couple of other people do this video and I just find it really interesting like how people shop online and kind of the processes that everybody goes through and I have got a bit of a shopping list because it technically isn't really time to update my wardrobe yet we're still very much in winter spring is not going to come for quite a while but I feel like I've really found my style and I feel like there's just a couple of little things I'm also going away to Thailand when you see this video will I be in Thailand no but I'll be going in a couple of days there's a few bits that I need to pick up for that the first thing is a stripy cashmere jumper if this exists on ASOS I need it in my life I'm loving my cashmere jumpers I'm loving stripes and all of my cashmere jumpers are currently very plain so looking for something with a bit of stripe going on I'd really love just some plain kind of t-shirts or maybe something with a little slogan on because they're really handy to layer under cashmere so that your cashmere doesn't get so <laughs> gross and stinky you don't have to wash it as often it kind of soaks up all the sweat underneath but also very good for layering when you've got a cashmere jumper on you go somewhere really hot I think I like if I take this off I'm going to be naked so really really good for layering definitely need to invest in some of those I'd quite like some denim shorts obviously not for the UK but for Thailand because I only have one pair currently and I feel like I need another pair to add into the mix because I think I'm going to be wearing them quite frequently I'd also really love a blazer like some kind of boyfriend long line one I feel like this is something I'd probably order off of ASOS and then get it it didn't fit well so send it back so maybe I'll try a couple of styles but if there's one style that really sings out to me I'm definitely going to invest and then the final thing is slippers a very sexy purchase I know but I had to throw my old slippers away because they had holes in the bottom and my feet have been very cold ever since so I'm going to show you my browsing process and how I like refine the thousands of products available on ASOS down then I'm going to do like a kind of haul and first impressions when it first arrives and just kind of talk you through everything show you it on let you know what I'm keeping what I'm sending back and it's like a nice well-rounded like circle of life ASOS haul <laughs> okay we're here so one of the first things I like to do is check whistles because I personally like to buy whistles on ASOS because the delivery is so cheap and so quick obviously with ASOS Premier so I kind of like to have a quick look on here first just to see if there's anything that meets the criteria of what I need but oh yeah whistles variety backpack very nice so I'm really looking for anything stripey oh yes love that t-shirt but not so keen on the red stripes I would definitely prefer it oh this is nice liking this definitely one to keep in mind i might save that actually it's really handy to save things as you go on asos because often you see things and then you forget about them and you scroll past i think i'm going to go on to page two i tend to look at the whistles tab quite often so i sort of know where i've got up to yes that's exactly what i want i said that i wanted like a white t-shirt maybe with a bit of writing on that's awesome so Let's, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to open it. I don't need a new tab for it. So the model is wearing a size small. They've got it available in every single size. I think I'll probably go for a small as well because it is quite baggy on her and I don't want it to be too oversized and boyfriend fit. So small, add to the bag. Oh, there you go. Added to bag. So that means that the t-shirt that I needed is done. Another brand that I like to look at quite a lot is Weekday. They actually do men and women's wear, so I just put women in the side, and I like to go from what's new. This is a very cool brand. It's definitely from the continent somewhere. It's very cool. They do really nice underwear as well. I'm really always tempted. No, kind of nothing there. So now I'm gonna go and search for cashmere, because like I said, I'd really love a cashmere striped jumper. That is basically the dream. Oh. There you go. 
That is literally exactly what I want. Let's just put the women tab on. No, 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 no. Wow, okay, that's literally, that's exactly what I want. And it's from the ASOS White Collection, which is one of my favorite collections off of ASOS. I do tend to check Weekday Whistles, ASOS White, sometimes Warehouse and sometimes Monkey as well. So I know that the ASOS size 10 is pretty much perfect for me. It says here that the model's wearing a UK 8, so yeah, I tend to size up a little bit from what the models are wearing. So yeah, size 10, perfect, add to bag. So that takes off the striped jumper and the t-shirts. And the next thing I was looking for, I'm kind of looking for like a boyfriend fit short. Um, so I'm gonna check Levi's. I find that they sort of do the best denim on here. So let's have a little search in women in shorts. Oh, they're nice. I really like the white ones actually. It's the whole style of the outfit. I find that on ASOS sometimes it's definitely like the whole outfit that I'm very much enjoying there. But I'd say out of all of them, obviously there's not gonna be a lot available, it's not really the right time to grab a pair of shorts. But I really like the raw hem on those. Five year old shorts with, I mean they've got them in this color as well, this does look nice. So I would tend to get these in a, it says a model wears a UK 8, that's really not very helpful. I think I'm going to go for the 28 in these, they're lone stock, so I'm going to add these to bag. Um, and I will also grab the white pair as well, because I feel like the styling on the white pair, oh, just looks so freaking cool. Look how nice they are. Add to bag. I mean, the returns with ASOS are so, like, quick and easy anyway, so I feel like, you know what, I'm just, I'm going to stick with those. Um, and then I did quite fancy a blazer. Let's see what they've got going on here. Maybe like an, in a navy, or a grey, or a black. Let's break it down a bit. Definitely looking at black, and then at navy as well. Oh, I like that. Again, it's the, it's the styling of the whole outfit that just completely gets me. I don't think I've bought anything from Vera Moda before. But that looks really cool. It's like quite long, got a relaxed style. I think that looked really nice with like cashmere underneath and a big scarf over the top. So this is recommending me a medium. The model wears a small. I have a feeling this could be a little bit small on me. Let's watch the video, see what, see what's going on there. I might grab the small, but this could definitely be something that I might have to send back depending on sizes. So added that into the basket. And then the final thing was a pair of slippers. <laughs> Seriously, my feet have been so cold. Oh, those, those, love those. I mean, there's, <laughs> I would just fall over and like break my neck in something like this one or this one, like that's just not a good sign for me. These are cute, but they look very like I would just pour milk over them in like a day or something. Oh, leather print ones, do you love those? No, I think those first ones, they look perfect. They've got a little zip up the front, <laughs> the Marilyn slipper, lovely. So the UK 5 to 6, I tend to be more of a 6 to 7, so I think I'm gonna go for a seven to eight, I also tend to wear about 10 pairs of socks. So there you go, I will show you what is in my bag. That's quite a pricey bag for ASOS, but I guess because the cashmere was so expensive, it sort of bumped it up a little bit. So I will check out and then I will come back to you when this order has arrived. So it's the next day and my order arrived by a DPD this morning at like eight o'clock or 20 past eight I think it was which is basically less than 24 hours since I delivered it service is incredible was delivered by my lovely DPD driver who I just think is a very sweet and friendly guy and he's growing a beard very nice <laughs> and I've tried everything on and there's definitely some really really good bits and things I absolutely love two purchases that I highly highly recommend and then a couple of things that I like but I'm definitely going to send back because the sizing just isn't quite right but the first thing was the whistles t-shirt and I have to say I really really like this I like the fit of it I like that it's a little bit boyfriend fit it's a little bit baggy I like that the arms are like quite long on it they're not too short they're not too capped and the fabric is very light very flowy i would say it's slightly too see-through like I, I personally don't mind a bit of like nipple popping through and a bit of bra popping through but definitely one to wear like quite a nice bra <laughs> underneath so yes this is definitely going to be slaying a slightly pricey purchase for something like a t-shirt but i like that it's just a little bit more detailed got something a little bit different going on and i think i'll get a lot of wear out of this especially in the coming like spring and summer months the second thing that i picked up is this I love this. This is the Cashmere Breton Stripe Knit from ASOS White Collection. Absolutely obsessed with this. The minute that I saw it online, I kind of knew I would love it, and it arrived, and it's beautiful. It's not too thick, but it's very warm, very snuggly, very soft, 
and it's just like the perfect, even the stripes are like the perfect thickness. Absolutely love it. Could not be happy with it. This is definitely one of the things I would recommend picking up. Yes, it's slightly pricey, but it is cashmere. It will last you a really long time and you kind of can't go wrong with a stripy knit jumper. You're gonna be wearing this like year on year on year. So I think the next thing I picked up were the slightly boyfriend fit like Levi shorts. And this is where I went a little bit wrong because the sizing guide told me to buy <laughs> the size up from what I did and I didn't really listen to it. I was like, you know what? I I'm gonna pick up a 28. That'll be cool. So I picked up a waist 28 in both of these Levi's five one denim short so I've got this sort of what is this like a wash denim like a grey denim really like both of these shorts but I'll just be picking them up I think I'm going to pick them up in a size 29 and then also a 30 because they're quite high waist but they're not that long and I feel like I kind of need the extra bit of length so that my butt isn't completely hanging out the bottom I can get these done up I could wear these but to me they're just a little bit too tight and I prefer them when they're a bit more relaxed a bit more boyfriendy kind of style then the final like proper clothing thing I picked up was this and this is the oversized navy boy boyfriend blazer from Vero Moda. I've actually never picked up anything from this brand before and I have a feeling that earlier in the video I was calling it Vera Moda. Like what, what is Vera Moda? <laughs> like why have I been calling it that? And actually I really like this. I don't think the quality on it is too fab but it wasn't super pricey and it has got my pet peeve with jackets in that it's got pockets but they're, they're stitched up. Why is that? Does anyone know why that is a thing? They stitch up the pockets? I have a feeling that there is a pocket underneath and if you like ripped open the stitching, you would have a little cheeky pocket to put stuff in, which I love to have a pocket on jackets because I love putting my hands in. I always get really cold hands and they're just handy for putting things in. But overall, I really like the fit of this. It looks cool under a very lightweight knit. I'd say in this size, I couldn't get like a really chunky knit underneath, but I guess you kind of don't really want a chunky knit underneath because it would just look a bit too bulky but overall I really like it I really want to get into blazers and I feel like this is a good entry level blazer before kind of splashing out and going crazy and getting yourself a really nice high quality high end one I think it's quite nice to get something that's slightly more affordable give it a good go and see if I get some wear out of this so that's definitely what I'm going to be doing over the next coming months but yeah the the small I think I picked this up in fits pretty all right and very chuffed with this purchase hopefully I get a lot of wear out of it and it's just a nice extra layer that I can wear under things when I'm layering so the final thing that I picked up are these the little, I think they're called Bedroom Athletics, which is, to me is just the most weirdly suggestive name. Definitely not too down for the brand name, but they are so comfortable, they are so cozy. I ripped them open, I've been wearing them ever since. Like, I ripped open the package and was like, right, I am putting them on now. Absolutely obsessed with these. I'd say these are my second favorite purchase. They're just so toasty. My feet have not been cold since I put them on. I would say I probably could have got away with the medium, but I've already trampled around the house, so I can't really send these back. Um, but yeah, I'd say probably if you're a six to seven, maybe the medium would be better for you. My feet kind of slip around a bit, but I have only got on a very thin pair of socks, and actually, it's quite nice to have the option to really wear my like crazy thick like three or four pairs of socks like I normally do. So if you're in the market for a pair of slippers, I know it's not a very exciting purchase to make, but your feet will thank you for these. <laughs> but that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed this little like circle of life ASOS haul. I feel like I picked up some very good transitional pieces, also some things I needed like my slippers and things like the shorts that'll be great for my little Thailand trip. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will put a link like here. I'll pop a link here for, for that. And also I'll pop two of my latest videos here. So if you haven't seen those already, then definitely check them out. But thanks for watching and I'll be back on Sunday with a brand new video. Bye.